I'm going to attempt to make a, an adapter to go from a 6DQ5 to a 6JE6. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, heat gun this and try and remove this uh, base. The heat gun will melt the solder after a few seconds. Okay, well that worked too well. Just heat it up for uh, about 20-30 seconds with this heat gun and then, then the stupid thing just pulled right off. It even uh, just, I even just tapped it, got it hot and tapped it like that and all the solder fell right out. You can see this tube was broken anyway so I didn't really care about it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a tube uh, socket off of an old chassis and wire it into this base that supports the 6JE6. Okay, the next step is I printed out these tube data sheets offline. You can find these just by googling the tube numbers. And we can see that on the 6DQ5 the cathode is connected to the uh, third grid which it is not on the 6JE6 so that's something I'll have to do and then I went around and I labeled all of this so I can uh, using the tube and a magnifying glass to verify that these are what they are so that I can uh, solder my wires in next. This is a parts chassis from a Packard Bell that uses a 6JE6 horizontal output tube. Next step is to remove this socket uh, which is riveted in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut all of these parts off of here except the cathode lead, which we'll make uh, for a cathode current test point, and all of the bridges that go across the bottom of this socket already, because they simply bridge the like pins on the tube together. The next step is monotonous. You just have to go through, and this is 18-gauge uh, tin copper wire. You just got to go through and solder uh, a new piece in each pin. So it's time to try and figure this out and hook these together. What pin matches what. Um, this blue wire I left on here goes to the cathode of the 6JE6. This is sockets out of a Packard Bell and they had a removable cathode current test adapter and I'm going to leave that on here so that I can uh, utilize it and check the cathode current easily. So I'm ending up with all these uh, things bridged here which are basically the same as how this is bridged to there and this is bridged to there going to do it on both sides that way there's never any problems with it and here's the finished product 6DQ5 to 6JE6 uh, horizontal output tube adapter circuit to utilize the newer style tube in the old sets the 6DQ5 was used in like CTC 11, 5, 7, and the 6JE6 is a newer 9-pin Novar style tube. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't have any spare DQ5s and I have quite a few spare 6JE6s. And this also gives me a built-in cathode current test Thing where I can unplug that right there and hook my meter, amp meter in there. So the key is here, does it work or? 
there's our I hear high voltage and our cathode currents right on 211.2 that looks really good Let's see if I can get around the front here look at this thing and see if there's uh, and there's a raster on there so my test adapter socket is working Currents come down a little bit to 209. Uh, I can probably adjust the cathode current coil on this. It's probably never been set up.